Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my eBay haul for April 27th. That was a Saturday. This is about half of the haul because uh, there was one major thing going on that day and that was our huge annual library book sale. Um, and I usually end up hitting it on Saturday and then I will go back on Monday and do the whole bag sale thing. So that's the next haul that you guys are going to see. For those of you who are interested in books, it'll probably be a, a quick one because it's just, you know, book after book after book. But I did find um, some good stuff there, including some DVDs that I was a little surprised about after I looked them up. So uh, stay on the lookout for that one. But I was also trying to find something that I could do to kill time before it opened at 10. And since there weren't many garage sales and yard sales going on, I ended up finding two different rummage sales, but I had to pick which one I was going to go to because they were both in the complete opposite direction. And I'm glad that I picked the one that I did because I think uh, I got some pretty good pieces there. This one was a new one to me up in Gladstone, New Jersey. It's about 30-35 minutes away. They advertised it as uh, a big rummage sale and a townwide sale. So I figured, you know, what the heck, might as well give it a shot. Um, and like I said, I'm happy I did because it turned out to be a really big, you know, pretty big rummage sale. Plus they had a flea market across the street from the church at the firehouse. They had a bunch of people out there set up with tables. And then I also hit a couple of... Um, yard sales on my way out of town. So, turned out to be a good call. So let me show you what I got there. At the flea market outside, which was open before the church, I got a few things. The first thing I got was this little guy. It's a little resin Santa figurine, very reminiscent of kind of, you know, Jim Shore style. And I think he's adorable. I just love his face and this teddy bear. This thing would like to focus. There we go. Uh, he cost me 50 cents. All it says on the bottom is Nantucket. Probably not worth a whole lot. Maybe 10 to 15 plus shipping. But I'm debating whether or not I'm going to sell him because I think he's adorable. So I might just keep him for myself, at least maybe for this Christmas and then sell them. Then I went to another table and found a few things there. I got two pairs of dog themed socks. This one says love is a four-legged word with all these dogs on it. This one says all you need is love and a dog. And it has black labs on it. Uh, normally these socks, like in stores, go for, I think, like 10 bucks a pop. So I figured if I put them up for 10 maybe with free shipping, I'm not sure. Either that or I'll sell them both together. Let's see what happens with those. But I spent a buck a piece on them. And from that same seller, I got this um, paperweight. Not crazy about the green, but I can still appreciate, you know, the work that went into it. This, I think, when it has the bubble in the middle, it's called a controlled bubble. So it's got this uh, light green and dark green and white swirl. And it is marked, and it's probably going to be impossible for you guys to see this. But it is marked right here, etched into the glass. It says Vandermark, V-A-N-D-E-R-M-A-R-K. There are a lot of these up on eBay. I paid four, couldn't go wrong for four bucks. So hoping at a minimum to get 20 with free shipping, but hoping to get more than that. Um, I gotta do a little bit more research. So that was, oh no, that wasn't it for outside, sorry. About one more thing outside. Uh, one of the vendors had some vintage Hallmark ornaments. So I got this one. This was $2. This is called uh, Christmas Candy Shop from 1986, 
and it's this little Victorian shop and you can see into it which I thought was cool in the original box I should be able to get I think 15 to 20 from that one so then I went into the church they had stuff outside which was mostly books and stuff and I knew I was going to the book sales so I wasn't really interested in looking at the books so I went inside and these tables were packed to the gills with stuff so I was very happy about that uh, the first thing, couple things I picked up were in the candle section. Hold on, I gotta grab one over here. That I forgot about. Um, I did get this. This is a Bath and Body Works candle stand or candle sleeve, uh, and this one has the footed bottoms. A lot of them um, are just plain; they don't come with the foot on the bottom. But this I paid a dollar for, and it had one of these full-size Bath and Body Works candles in it. I think it was Peach Bellini and it was brand new with the lid and everything and together they cost me a dollar. I gave the candle to my daughter and this I am keeping for myself because I love those candle sleeves and I didn't have a footed one. I have one, two, three, four. Now I have four. Um, that one plus two other big ones that just stand on their own without the foot on the bottom and then a smaller one because those are the only candles that I burn in this house and I love those candle sleeves and I got all of them at <laughs> rummage sales <laughs> why pay full price right guys um, then the other candle I got was this Henry Bendel one and Henry Bendel on 5th Avenue has gone out of business so you can't find these anymore this one's called Velvet Oud I think that's how you say it. Um, I wouldn't even begin to know what velvet oud smells like if it hadn't been for the side of it, which apparently says it smells like cloves, rose, and raspberry with sandalwood. Like, okay. But there's three other ones on eBay. I think the lowest one starts at 40 plus shipping, and the other two, I think they want like, I don't know, $70, $80 for a single candle. So I listed that this morning for uh, 40 with free shipping. So we'll see what happens with that. Then I went, um, they had a Christmas section in back and there's a bunch of things that I'm going to show you in a minute, which I don't know why they weren't in the Christmas section, maybe because it was a rather large collection. They couldn't fit it in there. Um, but in the Christmas section, I did find this um, fused glass bowl. Now this looks like Peggy Carr fused glass, but I cannot find her signature on it anywhere. So um, I'm either going to put Peggy, I, I don't know if I should put Peggy Carr style, because I did that once and then somebody got mad at me because they said it wasn't hers. And I said, well, I said in the listing it wasn't hers. I said it's her style, which this is. She does an exact... Um, she has the exact same pattern on a number of her pieces, this Crescent Moon Santa. So not sure how I'm going to title this yet, but paid two and should be able to get at least 20 plus shipping out of that. Then I found one coffee mug. Got this Marvin the Martian Looney Tunes mug, and you can see he's, the image is raised, and then it says Marvin the Martian on the back has this mark here. I don't know if I can get rid of this or not, but we'll see. And this is from uh, Six Flags Great Adventure here in New Jersey. Looks like it's looks like it's never been used. But paid a buck for that. Probably ask 20 with free shipping like I do with most of my mugs. Um, then in the toy section, I did find one thing, I got this puzzle for two bucks, and this is one of those six-sided cube puzzles. It's German. Uh, it has a bunch of different circus scenes on it, as you can see here, and it is from Klotzli, and, oh no, it's Swiss made, sorry, not German, it's Swiss. And I looked these up, and some of these do pretty well. I paid, I think I paid two bucks for this, and hopefully get 
20 plus shipping from it. Okay. Sorry guys, I had to look at my phone because um, my daughter's best friend's grandpa is in the hospital. I've been texting back and forth with her mom in case she needs me to help her out at all. Um, Alright, then I found a Kufel and Esser slide ruler. This is a vintage one from where is this date from? I think the date is on it and it's really early. I'm trying to find it. But I think it's like I think it's early 1900s. It's still only worth maybe about 10 bucks. You know, 10 to 15, I think. Uh, I paid a buck for it. But I always pick up these slide rules whenever I can because they're just um, they're just really good deals, especially if you can find them in the leather cases. I found them in the leather cases once. I found two of them together. Sold them for, I think, over $30 a piece. Then in the um, houseware section, this has glitter all over it, sorry, from some of the other things I found. I saw this under a whole bunch of stuff and I thought it looked interesting, so I took all the other stuff off of it and saw that it was marked down here on the bottom. It says Don Northcutt 1986. It's this beautiful, um, this is etched into marble. This buck standing in the woods kind of reminds me of my backyard <laughs> on any given day. Uh, and I looked him up, and some of his pieces do sell um, pretty well, but I couldn't find any that were made into a box like this. It has this little tab up here on the top, and you pull this off, and then you can open the box. So I paid, I believe, two for this. Yes. Paid two, hoping to get at least 30 to 40 plus shipping. Then, um, one of the pieces I'm excited about, I don't know where it's going to go, uh, there, I got a set of these cruets, and as soon as I saw the shape of them, I got really excited. I was like, oh, look at those, mid-century modern. They were actually turned over like this, and the tops didn't fit right, and then I realized when I got home that they're actually supposed to go like that. But then I turned them over. And so I got even more excited because they say Dansk on the bottom. Came home, did a little research. I got two of them, as you can see. This one, the second one has some, some wear over here, as you can see. It's a little lighter down here. It has some marks. But no chips or cracks or anything other than those um, faint discolorations. They're in perfect shape, and I think I paid I paid two bucks for this set. They are flamestone cruets. They're in a matte brown color, and some of the flamestone stuff can go for good money, like you know, eighty to a hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, depending on what the piece is. But I cannot find the cruets anywhere. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that that's a really good thing. I'm probably going to sell this set um, together. Sorry, guys. Probably going to sell this set together and then um, at auction and see where it goes. So then last but not least, um, like I said, this last bunch of stuff I bought, I figured would have been in the Christmas section, but I guess because it was a bigger collection, they didn't have room on the Christmas table, so they put it somewhere else. And I was walking down in between two tables, and I saw this big, glittery mass of Christmas stuff, and had to investigate. And I got all of these pieces. These all cost me... I think they were a, a dollar to three dollars a piece depending on the size. Oh. And I think I bought just about everything they had. I think I left a couple of the really tiny ornaments behind. But what this is, is this is a collection of uh, called Bell Snickle by 
Linda Lindquist Baldwin and she ended up finding a book about antique Santas at a garage sale. She couldn't buy the actual like antique Bell's Nickel Santas so she um, she made some herself and then she started her own business and I was excited because this advertising card and this little advertising figurine were there <clears throat> and all of her pieces <coughs> seriously what goes on with my voice all these pieces have a little nickel embedded in them and this is by uh, Schmid I think later it was done by Anesco but um, they feel kind of like paper mache because they're very lightweight but I was excited to find the advertising pieces because I think the serious collectors would really like to get their hands on those so I'm definitely putting I think most of these pieces up for auction some of the bigger hard to find pieces of hers can go anywhere from probably fifty to a hundred bucks um, I don't think I have any of those super home runs here I'm not really sure um, you know gotta see what the advertising stuff does but this was the biggest piece I got was this uh, angel holding a snowflake I did find one other one on eBay but the snowflake was missing and I think it sold for twenty something bucks um, like I said they all have the nickel embedded in them yeah this one says Anesco and I guess the earlier ones might say Schmid I think or maybe the later ones say Schmidt. I'm not really sure uh, so I think I paid three for that like I said I don't know exactly I paid probably two to three bucks for the bigger ones and then a dollar for all the little ones I got this really cute little Santa holding the fruit basket I got this Santa dressed in white robes and he's holding a little lantern this cute little snowman with the pot on his head with all these ladybugs which I thought was funny because how many ladybugs do you see crawling all over snowmen in the winter then there's this kind of roly-poly guy and he's holding a Noah's Ark and this one's actually a bell still has the nickel in the bottom and let's see this one of a gardening Santa this little snowman he's actually called a snow sickle I think yeah but they all have the word nickel in the title yeah, from a nickel to the snow snickel. Then, um, this was different. This is a lapel pin, which is pretty huge. It's like a four inches long. And then earrings, uh, brand new on the card. And then the rest were these ornaments that I picked up for a buck a piece. It's Santa on a polar bear. Um... Santa sitting on the sun, Santa sitting on a big snowball, come on, here we go, uh, Santa in the chimney, and Santa flying an airplane. These were a bucket piece, I think I'm probably going to sell all of these together as a lot, because the ornaments themselves, they're tiny and they don't really go for too much on their own so it's probably more cost effective to sell them all together so that was everything I got at that sale I spent like 42 bucks and um, I should do pretty well and then on my way out of town I stopped at one or two yard sales I only picked up one thing but had to have them because they were weird and I, you guys all know weird sells for two bucks I picked up this set of longhorn to steer uh, drawer pulls and I mean they're pretty big they're like five six inches across I couldn't find any exactly like this but I could find long longhorn steer 
drawer pulls and they are selling so I'm hoping that these guys I'm gonna probably put them up at auction start them at 20 plus shipping and see how they do from there so that's it guys um, definitely I will definitely be going back to that rummage sale if they have it again next year um, it was a really good one and next up I will be back showing you the stuff that I got on Saturday and Monday from our book sale so thanks for watching everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.